This video will discuss the third law of thermodynamics. So the third law of thermodynamics says that the entropy of a perfect crystal at zero Kelvin is zero. So we saw from our previous videos on the Gibbs entropy that the entropy was equal to the negative Boltzmann constant times the sum over all states of the probability of the system being in that state times the natural log of the probability of the system being in that state. And those probabilities were determined by the relative energies of those states where, where the probability is proportional to the Boltzmann factor for that state, e to the minus energy of that state over Boltzmann constant times temperature. So what happens there is as the temperature goes to zero, the probability for all states where the energy is, ab is above the minimum energy, or the ground state energy, all of those probabilities go to zero. So the probability for any given state uh, goes to, sorry, the probability for a state which has the minimum energy is one over the number of states with the minimum energy. So every state which has an energy higher than the ground state is completely unoccupied. So for most systems, that ground state, it's degeneracy, there's just one state that has the lowest possible energy. And if there's one state that has the lowest possible energy, then its probability is 1. And one, the natural log of 1 is 0, so 1 times 0 is 0, and there's 0 entropy. So if our ground state is singly degenerate, then at 0 Kelvin, we have 0 entropy in our system. So this corresponds to what we saw in the microscopic case for uh, having a single state with a probability of 1, where here at the macroscopic level, we're defining the entropy of a perfect crystal at zero Kelvin to be zero. So a perfect crystal meaning everything is perfectly aligned, it's in the minimum energy state, there are no defects, there are no uh, problems with it, it's just a crystal which is completely perfect uh, in, in every single location in the lattice. All right, and then we have, uh, using this equation here, where the entropy at zero Kelvin is the Boltzmann constant times the degeneracy of the ground state, which is usually zero, we know from our previous videos <clears throat> that the entropy at a given temperature is equal to the entropy at zero Kelvin plus the integral from zero up to that temperature of the constant pressure heat capacity at the given temperature divided by that temperature integrated over temperature. And this is true if the pressure doesn't change during that process. If it's a constant volume uh, process, then we use the constant volume heat capacity instead. So since S of zero is going to be zero in most cases, what we can say now is we can have a formula for the absolute entropy of our system. So the entropy as a function of temperature is the integral from zero Kelvin up to that temperature of the constant pressure heat capacity divided by the temperature integrated over temperature. So if for all temperatures we know the constant pressure heat capacity, we can build this integral and and compute this integral, and then we know what the entropy of that system is at that state. So to summarize now the three laws of thermodynamics, we have the first law of thermodynamics, which says that the energy change of the universe equals zero. So I have the universe down here, but this is true for any isolated system. The universe is just the biggest possible isolated system. So for any isolated system, or for the universe as a whole, the energy change is equal to zero during any physical process. The entropy change during any physical process is greater than or equal to zero. And the absolute entropy of any physical system is greater than or equal to zero. So what these three laws in aggregate say is um, we cannot create or destroy energy. We have to create entropy as we go along and there is a minimum value for what the entropy can be. So the entropy starts at some finite value. It can only increase over time, and we can't input energy into the system. So basically, the, the state of the universe is that it evolves such that over time, in the forward direction of time, we, we have constant energy, and we're going to produce energy going up and approaching over time the maximum possible value of the entropy of the universe where all energy is equally distributed over all possible states.